have a few, fortunately. This fire is really smoky and hot. I better go. Oh dang, one of those invasive worms has been slightly altered in a negative fashion. Invasive, for all you illiterate, means bad. Expanding your vocabulary, good. Going back to the rides, this one's big, black, and ugly. She's got ponies though, big ponies. I mean, for goodness sakes, look at the V-twinage on this puppy. You heard me right, V-twinage, no. This is ride and tool of travel number two. No V-twinage going here. And also the lack of tire pressure, no good. Which really negatively affects the speed and overall controllability and drivability of this mode of transport. Or tool of travel, or ride, however you wanna look at it. I do not drive this thing. So yes, this one's smaller, but it is cleaner. It probably gets slightly better fuel economy than the big black bike, but come on, we got our pros and cons here. Get your Venn diagrams out, people. And then I have this one. Holy sh Now I'm not gonna spend the entire video showing you all the things I put between my legs. I am, however, going to show you a new ride. A new tool of travel. I'm excited about this. The only thing is, we have to be careful. I can honestly say that I saw that going slightly different. However, we're in the shade, and that's all that matters. Hopefully I didn't break anything. I don't want to break anything, but uh, I might have broken something. Wow, thank goodness they put a lot of foam in this thing. This thing is legit. It's folded up like a taco. Now if one day I'm, you know, on this thing and I spot you and you're wearing some 3D Machines merch, then I'll let you ride it. Not this, this is the toilet. You could drag this thing with a tank as far as I'm concerned. You have got to be kidding me. This thing is phenomenal. I'm stoked. Titles, tools, literature. Better read that. So my inner kid can't really handle itself right now, himself. So I put the key in, I took the battery out. Oh, oh yep, that works. Hey, cool. It says it's at 100%. Mile, zero. Mile OD, zero. Zero, zero, zero. We're about to change all those numbers, folks. I think I figured it out. Definitely figured it out. Okay, no more messing around. Let's go ahead and take this thing somewhere where I've never gone before, but always have wanted to. So I made it to Santos Biking Trail. I think that's what this place is called. I've never been here before. So you have the plus and minuses here, and that tells you how fast to go or how fast this thing will go. That throttle will make you just go on your own. Otherwise, if you're in any kind of number, it'll, as long as you're pedaling, it'll assist you. And then it also has a gear shifter that you can go up and down with on your gears. And don't forget the horn. Let's try this baby out. So the headlight, you can turn on and off right here. So bam. And then also, the reason why this bar is here, I just found that out from hitting the ramp right behind it. You can see that that's got a pretty heavy duty pitch to it. That's probably like a 412 for all you carpenters and that's probably like a 612 to all you car carpenters. But that bar there is to protect this sprocket and chain. So I've probably already bent it a little bit because I kind of bottomed out on that guy. 
So that's the skid plate. Also a cool thing is that this thing has suspension. Un unlike my one friend's bike, it has no suspension. This does have suspension and it hasn't been a bad ride at all. So they're, geez, level one has got power behind it. As Soon as you get on the pedal, it wants to assist you and it's taking you whether you want to or not. So you definitely have to keep in mind whether or not you want that on or off. I don't even dare to bring it up into five in these trails. Now I am pushing this thing like way beyond what probably most people will do. Um, you guys know my dirt biking history and my four wheeling history. So you know I can just, just about break anything. So this thing, this is like putting it through hell and back. So if this thing survives today, I'll be impressed. Oh great, that can kill you? That can kill you? Alligators, tarantulas, all that good stuff. Mentally insane. Bike bats. I am where? Where, but where is here? It's gotta be about 90 degrees and I couldn't imagine not having any kind of pedal assist. I have not even used this throttle very much. Wow, that wants to go right there. Whoa. I'm just concerned that this thing's gonna get me lost. Currently on level one, pedal assist. When I pedal, it assists. Uh, it, this has been the easiest five miles I've ever gone on a bike in my life. Probably the most fun uh, experience on a bicycle. This is where you could get this thing up to top speed and really hurt yourself. I mean, yeah. This thing charges when you let off. So as soon as you let off, you're going downhill or something, it'll recharge. You hear it, you hear it wind up and then wind down? This thing's fantastic. Good? I'm just gonna walk it out. Uh, sounds good. Hey, where? I feel like I've found a new escape. I feel like I have a lot more liberty out here in the in the wilderness. This is this is how this is what America looked at one time, and you got to do whatever you wanted to do out here. I don't have to worry about staying in between the yellow and the white. I'm impressed with the weight of this thing. I'm impressed with the suspension of this thing. I like the ergonomics of everything, how easily accessible all my controls are. You gotta stay on your brake quite a bit because this thing will take out, this thing will take right off without you. Now's a good time to give you some specs and also, that's sexy. I don't care what anybody says. So the Polarna bike. We've gone 10.7 miles, we're at 77%. 77% of battery life, not uh, Dalton's you know, energy for the day. So the frame construction is aluminum alloy, gear range eight speed, tire model 20 inch, climb grade 32 degrees, max load 396 pounds. Max speed, or also 100, 180 kg. Max speed, 45 kmph. For all you Americanos out there, 28 miles an hour. Power, 750 watts. Battery capacity, 14 amp hours. And then it makes this assumption. The following assumes a 60 kilogram or 176 pound rider. Rider weight plus carry on weight if you want to put something on the rack. If you want to get your rack on, on a flat road. Maximum riding range in pedal assist, pedal assist mode, 100 kilometers or 62 miles. Wow. Up to 120 kilometers, 74 miles. And that's this bike specs with 3D machines. So now after putting 10.8 miles on this thing, I really appreciate the disc brakes. I appreciate that it has suspension both front and rear. I like that it even has leather grip. I like that it comes in uh, a few different colors so you, you don't have just one color. The screen is absolutely phenomenal. Now I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a tax professional, I'm not a CPA. But my buddy Chris has one of these things and he actually has he actually has two different e-bikes. I don't think he owns a Polarna, at least not yet. But he was saying by buying an electric vehicle, 
this administration uh, with Biden supposedly give you tax incentives when it comes to buying electric vehicles. Not sure the exacts on that, but I figured I'd share that with you if that is some sort of tax benefit from, from this point on, at least as far as this is concerned, that's hearsay. But if that is the case, then you could potentially write off this thing. But it seems like the pattern's going to be that we're going to try to transpire, transform, transition into more electronic things. As far as things like renewable energy is concerned, I'm, I'm invested in both uh, wind energy and solar energy. Uh, one of the sun energy companies that I'm invested in as far as the stock market's concerned is uh, Sun W. Uh, let me know if you guys are have any investments in the stock market currently. Leave them in the comment section below. And uh, I'm sure you're down on the, the position because the stock market's gone down for the last year and a half, but What's important is to not keep track of what it says it's worth and just, you know, keep on the fact that uh, hopefully, as long as the company makes sense, you'll make money. But Palerna, I like your product. Okay, I got my vitamin D. I got my nature for the day. Time to go home. Maybe get some, uh, definitely turn on some Seinfeld and maybe get into the junk food. Some Easter candy. <laughs>